Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. If it's your first time here to the channel, my name is Doug and today we've got an interesting project. It's a modification of my Grizzly 4003 gunsmithing lathe to bring a collet closer uh, to it. It's not offered as a lathe, uh, it's not offered uh, through Grizzly as, a, uh, as an option unfortunately. So I ended up buying their optional collet closer for another lathe and made some modifications. So we'll walk through that in case you want to go ahead and give it a try for your own uh, your own lathe. I'll point out some of the details and then we'll have some uh, video of me machining the draw tube and some of the modifications I made to the back and the front of the spindle. So stay tuned and let's see what we've got to do. Thanks for joining me. Alright everybody let's take a look at what comes with the G4026 uh, optional collet closer uh, from Grizzly. This is uh, what came uh, in the box <clears throat> and we're going to retrofit that to the gunsmithing lathe. You've got this uh, Collet closer assembly. For those of you who are familiar with uh, collet closers, uh, it's the same type of a ramped finger uh, engagement where you bring that uh, that handle back, and the fingers will ride up and lock uh, up the taper. We've got the actual draw tube itself, which screws into the back of the uh, closer assembly. The uh, inside of that is tapped, or I should say, threaded for a 5C uh, collet. And then the other part that came with it is the Morris Taper 5 to 5C uh, adapter that fits into the nose of the uh, of the lathe. If you haven't seen my video on regrinding this, I suggest that. Uh, this came in running out about two thousandths of an inch uh, between the uh, between the Morris Taper 5 and the 5C collet. So I had to go back and touch that up with a uh, tool post grinder. So that was uh, pretty interesting, my first time doing that. But if you haven't seen it, go ahead and uh, check that video out. Um, there's a, a, a piece that fits onto the back of this that is mounted to the rear of the spindle already. Uh, I didn't uh, take that apart because I wanted to show you how it uh, goes in there, but that's the only remaining piece that is not uh, that did not come with the uh, with the kit. All right, folks, let's cover one of the two pieces that you have to machine in order to get this to work, and that's discounting uh, whether or not you have to touch up. Uh, the adapter that comes with it. Uh, the original Grizzly draw tube <clears throat> overall length comes out to be about uh, 14 and a quarter. Your new draw tube is going to be 15 and a quarter. The dimension from the 5C end to the shoulder, which is going to end up butting up against your collet closer assembly, is just shy of uh, the original Grizzly was uh, 13 and 7 sixteenths and your new one is going to be just under 14 and a half. Uh, the diameters uh, are, uh, I left this about uh, 20 thousandths oversize uh, because I wanted uh, a little nicer fit into the uh, into the spindle uh, of the lathe. This comes out to be 1 inch 330 thousandths and that ends up fitting nicely right into the end of the collet closer. This was a little more sloppy. I decided to leave a little extra meat on it um, because it's always easier to remove metal than it is to put metal back on in case it didn't work. I was kind of designing this on the fly and this is what I've uh, this is what I've come out to. So this is the biggest piece of machine that you're gonna have to do. Um, let's go to the back of the lathe and I'll show you the spider arrangement uh, assembly that uh, you'll have to just kind of touch up. All right, everybody, we're back at the rear end of the G4003 Grizzly uh, gunsmithing lathe. You guys can see the uh, spider arrangement that they have for the spindle here for doing uh, gun barrels. This is what I used to keep this piece in. Uh, the back of the spindle is not threaded. Uh, this uh, collet closer assembly uh, produced by Grizzly was made for other lathes where the back of the spindle is threaded this piece would thread in and then lock and then your whole collet closer assembly would encompass the top of this with these holes being the indexes where once you get your desired tension on the collet you uh, drop the index hole uh, or pin into the hole there and this allows the whole assembly to be driven. Um, <clears throat> so with this not being threaded and this being threaded what I ended up having to do was just chuck this up in a four jaw, get it running true, and then just turn the threads down until I reach the ID 
of the spindle. And then what I did was I went over to the lathe, I'm sorry, went over to the mill, milled four flats onto it so that when this thing was uh, in just slip fit into the back of the spindle that I could come down with these set screws onto the flats and uh, keep this thing from uh, spinning in place. So not really a whole lot uh, there. I didn't unfortunately capture any of that on video, but it was pretty simple. Turn the, uh, turn the threads down until it just slips into the back of the spindle, put the four flats on it, and then come down with some uh, locking screws and, uh, and the set screws, and then you should be all set with that. Uh, the only other field modification that I made to the entire assembly was that the uh, closer arm linkage um, they had it for some reason where the handle was pointing straight down, which I found to be uh, very awkward in trying to open and close this. I've never seen a collet closer that didn't have a handle coming off horizontally so that the operator could uh, effectively open and close it uh, by you know holding onto a part going into the collet or, or whatnot. So I went ahead and modified what they had. They had a post that was... Uh, screwing I believe into this top lug here and then the whole assembly was vertical I ended up machining uh, my own lug <clears throat> um, that attaches to the back of this cast iron uh, gear cover it's just a pin rounded off with a through hole and you'll see when I assemble this thing how that uh, works but it's just a through hole for a pin not very precision it's got four uh, bolts around it and I believe I just through hold it and put uh, lock washers and nuts on the back of it. Uh, I believe it was a little bit too thin to uh, to tap. Uh, that's why I went with that. And there's plenty of clearance back there with the change gears, so I didn't have to uh, to make any modifications any further than that. That way, uh, the handle assembly system comes off horizontally, and I can kind of uh, use that a little more effectively. So let's take a look at what it's going to take to machine the draw tube, and uh, then we'll uh, we'll show you the whole thing put together.
All right, let's take a look at how this thing is going to assemble. <clears throat> I've got the draw tube and collet closer assembly here. This will just slide straight in. What I then do is take off the, uh, the hinge pin, which is just a bolt and a nut, and we'll rotate this horizontal. Bring this knuckle up to the uh, up. and go ahead and put that in there. Of course, uh, this section here has a, the knurled uh, piece pin that comes out. The set screw here is to make sure that it, uh, in its resting position, that it's not engaged in the pins. And what you'll end up doing is putting the collet into the adapter on the nose of the spindle and then of course engaging your 5C collet and adjusting your tension that way. We've got a uh, 5C collet here. Find the keyway. Come on. And this is about where the draw bar hits. So you'll see as I start cranking this thing in that we've got upwards of probably almost uh, five eighths of an inch of grip on the thread. I've got a little uh, three quarters of an inch uh, dowel here. Get that just snugged up. That's what we've got. Um, <clears throat> works pretty well. Uh, honestly, it's running out uh, probably about uh, two, thousand, uh, two tenths of a thousandth right at the end of the collet. And out here, uh, an inch and a half or so, almost two inches from the, uh, from the nose, we're running out uh, almost uh, two thousandths. Um, haven't qualified the pin, but it's a standard dowel pin. I'm sure that their concentricity is pretty close. I'd be more apt to say that the uh, set of Chinese collets here are not exactly uh, ground to, uh, to spec. Well, everyone, that's the Collet Closer Project come to a close. And uh, hope you guys found it uh, useful. Uh, if you own a Grizzly 4003 g gunsmithing lathe, it's a great uh, addition uh, to the shop. Had a good time uh, putting it together. Uh, learned some things along the way, which is uh, the main thing. Hope you guys found it useful. If you do have one of these lathes, uh, it's a great addition to the shop. So, uh, like I said, hope you guys found it useful. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed uh, the video, and uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next project. Thanks for joining me in the shop. Work safe, work smart. We'll see you in the next project. Take care.